been a life coach um, for two years now. And it's been quite amazing. It's been a beautiful journey. A lot of people who are in my uh, contact list, they would know that every day I send the messages where I, I do motivation. So I thought, let me bring this now for other people to benefit from it as well. So I'm a certified NLP life coach, whatever I will be doing. It's not only because I am a so-called <laughs> celebrity, but it's because I am a certified NLP life coach. What is NLP? It is neuro linguistic programming. So neurology, it's your brain. Linguistic, it's your language, of course. And then programming, that is what I do. Working to, to align people with their values, working to assist people to achieve their goals and to become a sounding board. Because a lot of people ask, what is the role of a life coach exactly? So a life coach becomes your sounding board. They become that person who helps you to overcome your limitations. They help you with your mindset and they ensure that you achieve your dreams. At the same time, they hold you accountable to your dreams. Kamuhelo, if you feel that I'm going too fast, just feel free to, 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 to let me know that I must just slow down a bit. So that is who I am and... Uh, um, no dear, I'm fine. Just continue as you are. Um, I'm quite fine. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, uh, the next item would have been uh, us talking about house rules. We've already done the house rules. Vuyot really is coming in um, to join us. Yeah, Vuyot really is coming in to join us. So uh, in terms of the house rules, I, I already went uh, through those in terms of the sound that just asking people to, you know, close off, uh, mute themselves so that we don't get uh, other sounds. Unless someone needs to talk, then they can feel free to, 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 to share whatever they need to share. And let me just move this to this side. Yes. Hi, Vuyo. <laughs> and welcome, Vuyo. OK. So in terms of um, the participants, uh, we've got Ukamukhelo. Ukamukhelo is our sign language interpreter, which is blowing my mind right now. I feel like U President Cyril Ramaphosa. <laughs> Because one of the things that as, as a facilitator or as a life coach is you want to be inclusive. And as you all know, we said that our theme for this session, it is inspiration and uh, taking action. So Kamukhelo being here, is part of someone who is a participant who actually decided to take action. And that person is Barrington Sicilana. Barrington comes from the hearing impaired society. And I always send him messages, you know, uh, with, the, uh, with the messages that I send people to in the morning to, 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 to inspire them. I always, send messages as well. And I decided, I took a conscious decision in terms of Barrington, because whenever I send messages, he would send me a message saying, Andrea, if it's a video, there is no English, I don't understand because their medium of language is mostly English. And he would also say, there are no subtitles. But now he, he did something quite amazing because when I sent him this invite, 
I had consciously decided not to exclude anyone, whether someone is visually impaired or hearing impaired. Because if we do not become inclusive, we are going to leave a lot of people to be in the periphery. Whereas people want to partake in our everyday lives and also we want to learn more about other people's struggles. And so for me as a life coach, this is such a mind blowing, it's such a mind blowing exercise because he took the initiative to bring in Gamuhelo, who is a, a sign language interpreter. And I am hoping for future, we would have more of this. And even now, people will know that my sessions are not only for the, those who are hearing abled, but even the hearing impaired. And if it happens, even for the visually impaired, they would be accommodated. And Vuyotwili, Vuyotwili is in Peter Mauritsburg. So I'm just gonna ask people just for a second. Uh, just uh, Vuyo, you can open your audio and just introduce yourself, just one minute, who is Vuyotwili, so that we know who is partaking here. Hello everyone. Sorry I got in so late. Uh, I was I double booked myself. I am an accountant who is forever all over the place trying to figure everything out. Uh, thank you, Sis Andrea, for inviting me to be part of this prestigious thing that you are building i am so humbled to be part of it i am very humbled i'm i don't think i'm deserving but i'm very humbled thank you so much yeah i think i'm done <laughs> okay no problem thank you very much and uh ruby if you can just briefly introduce yourself you don't have to do the video i know you already told us that <laughs> <laughs> you're not in a very <laughs> So it's okay. I also have my son here, so it's okay. It's okay. Let's, let's Hello. Relax. Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Ruby Mutawung. I'm based in, in, in Durban. Uh, I am managing a big organization called Training and Resource in Early Education. Our focus, our main focus is on making sure that we create an environment that is enabling for early childhood development. So I, I bumped into, I've been following Usisanda and today I bumped into this particular topic because I was asking myself, how am I feeling? Yes, I'm working and funny enough, you know, I'm, 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 I'm working on proposals, I'm working with funders, uh, I'm getting very positive response from funders, but I'm, I'm struggling to find myself, you know, as to where am I and where do I want to go and how do I want to go there? So that's why I jumped into this opportunity to be part of this session today. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So uh, that is everybody. Barrington, without, without overriding you, please introduce yourself. Oh, just hold on. So Gamukhele is going to be speaking now. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Berenten. Uh, that's my sign name. That's how deaf people call me or use a sign. So I'm really happy um, to, be, uh, to be part of the, the session. And, uh, and then I think we met somewhere in Cape Town and it was so amazing meeting you. So, and also it's, um, it's, it's going to be very fascinating to um, be learning from everyone um, like on this meeting. So I've always um, heard that you're a um, life coach. So I, I was amazed by that. So, so it says, um, We'll take everything that will we'll take everything as time goes by we definitely know that with deaf people they struggle to get information but uh with uh, what we have done today it's 
is quite amazing. And also, people must not be afraid of deaf people to say deaf people, um, they are disabled, we can't talk to them, you know? you know. No, we can communicate with everyone. Despite we have, you know, like if, and also if people get, like if people get interested in sign language, surely we can have more interpreters, you know, and our lives will be much easier. So having, having more people coming in board, it would be, be much easier, it will be, like, it will be much easier. So with uh, South African sign language being um, official language or 12th uh, official language, it, um, it will surely um, come to, like it will give um, deaf people um, more ways to access and more information uh, other than uh, like in previous days. But other than that, we're taking it uh, step by step and I believe going forward, it's something that is going to happen and we're going to access more information as time goes by and we start with this kind of sessions. Thank you very much, Barrington. All right. Everybody, I am so, so, so amazed. Uh, some people, it's my first time meeting them and uh, knowing who I am. You are my tribe. From today onwards, I want you to know that you are my tribe. Oh, we say again. Uh, she's in as well. We say again. Are you struggling to? Uh, are you struggling with your sound, my love? Okay, it's fine. Oh, we say again. She she is in PE. She's one of my Facebook friends, and uh, so I also invited her this morning to come and and be part of the session. So we're done with the introduction uh, of uh, of the participants. Now we're going to delve into the actual session. And can, can, um, I, can I say something, Andre? Yes, Ruby. I, I just want to acknowledge the fact that I am already inspired. I, I think already without even started, starting the session, I feel I'm getting what I have been looking for. The fact that we're all here and the fact that the, 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 the process is so inclusive. That is, that is touching and very inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Yes, it, that's why it is said that you, you don't know what you don't know. Sometimes you get an invite from someone, you don't know who is going to be there. You don't know what you are going to get. But when you get there, then you, you discover your purpose and the nuggets of wisdom that you have been looking for. And you actually, uh, Ruby, you just, oh, here's Tandy K. Uh, she's in Amdansane, but she'll catch us along the way. Ruby, you actually took my first point. <laughs> my first point in the presentation is practicing gratitude. That is my first point. How aligned is that? How amazing is that? Because so many times in life, we forget to, to, to be grateful. We forget to say, thank you very much, universe, for granting me this opportunity. So for me as a life coach, that is part of my journey to remind people to, to be grateful and to, to move into the higher level of who they are, even to discover their pe purpose. And as well, gratitude is not something that is only formal. A lot of people, they have a mistake of thinking that if you talk about the processes or the habits of wellness, everything has to be formalized. It doesn't have to. There are moments when gratitude hits you and you don't even know where it's coming from and it's spontaneous. And there is an expression that is normally used. It is said that when you feel that gratitude hitting you at that moment is when you are in the presence of the divine creator. You are in the presence of the angels. You are in the presence of the one who created us all. And in that moment, when you allow yourself to, to, to receive the gift of that spontaneous gratitude, then you get more enlightened about your purpose in life. So that is the first one. So gratitude, uh, take note of it whether it's, it's something that you plan, because sometimes you, you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning and you say, whew, thank you very much for having been woken up. We are in a terrible time. 
when we go to sleep, remember when you go to sleep, you are imitating death because you don't know if you are going to wake up tomorrow. So when you wake up, you go to sleep with that mindset that in the morning, the first thing that I'm going to do, I am going to be grateful. And you plan that gratitude. Hi, Zimasa. You plan that gratitude because you tell yourself that I am going, this is intentional. So that is intentional gratitude. Then there's the spontaneous one where now situations and circumstances and opportunities fly, flung themselves on your face and you're like, oh my goodness, I am so grateful for this opportunity, for this moment, for this, everything that I am going through. That is when then you are practicing gratitude. And also remember, it is important there is power in words. Always thank your gratitude. I know it sounds crazy. It sounds very mixed up when I say thank your gratitude. But do acknowledge it. Acknowledge that gratitude, I am experiencing you now. You know? It's, it, when you get that feeling when it's like, oh, I'm so grateful. When you speak it out, you give power to gratitude to even multiply itself into your life, to even multiply itself into your territory, to even stretch your territory even more because you are showing appreciation. You did not know that that moment was going to happen to you if it's unplanned. Even if it's planned, obviously you visualize and you say, this is what I want to happen. So by acknowledging it, then gratitude, because remember, we are energy. Life force is about energy. The relationships that we have with each other are about energy. The presence that we have with each other is about energy. The appeal that we have to each other is about energy. Just to simplify it, when I sent, let's, when I sent an invite, I sent energy. It was not just words. Because when I send it out, I send positive vibes and say, whoever receives this, may they receive it with the purpose, the intention, and the amount of love and energy that I am sending it to them. And may they return it by doing whatever is being requested of them. By if I, I, I wanted you to attend this session, it means that I wanted you, or I was hoping you are going to rise to your higher self. Therefore, the energy that I send to you, when you say, Andre, I'm going to attend, you are returning the same positive energy to me. So that is energy. Then the next point that I'm going to be talking about is reflecting. Life is a mirror. The people that you surround yourself with, they are mirrors of who you are, where you want to be, or where you are, and how far you can go. That is why there is that saying that birds of a feather flock together. Because the reflection that is in your space, the reflection that is the people who, are, who surround you, the reflection that is the actions that you take towards inspiring yourself to achieve the dreams and go on the journey that you want is the ultimate goal that you want to get. You know, sometimes English, ish, it runs away. <laughs> then someone has to Bluetooth it to you. So always remember that life is a reflection. That is why it is said that you are the creator before being anything else. You are the creator. You create your reality. That is why it is saying that it is important for you to always be mindful of where you are. 
the space that you are in, even your thoughts, because your thoughts, they create your reality. Your thoughts, they help you to manifest everything that you want to manifest in your life. So that is that point. And then the next point that I want, hello. <laughs> Okay, we've got another Kamukhelo in the in the house. <laughs> uh, I wanted to, to mention that uh, we have um, Dia here. She's my colleague. We are both from EDEF. Um, we just um, made time for for this session. Um, so welcome, Dia. That's Dia. Did you, Dia? Welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. So the next session that uh, the the next point that then we tackle is experiencing all. How many times have you, ex have, have you observed a child experiencing awe or having an awesome moment? I know we, we, we always use this term loosely. Oh, you're awesome. This is awesome. I wish I could have an awesome day. If you don't feel it, if you don't create it, you will never manifest it. It is up to you to first feel it because, again, going back to the energy, the energy, when you send it out there, it's, it's like a boomerang. It will then send back to you whatever it is that you have sent out there. Welcome, Cosaristo. So, it is important for you to, to allow those moments to, to be like a child, to be like a baby. If, if, if you've, you've, surely you've got kids around, you've got your family, you have your own kids, you've got your nephews and nieces. How many times have you observed a child just in a tangent going off and they just giggle and they just laugh and they just go, <laughs> And everybody's like, and you're trying to figure out what is this child laughing at? What is making this baby laugh? And you can even feel that that awesome experience is from deep down. It's not just from the chest, but it's, it's manifested from deep down from their belly. It's so loud. Sometimes you even observe someone who's having a, an awe experience even if you knew their voice. But in that moment, it, it sounds, it's like it reverberates. It, it's like their voice becomes big. They become large. Everything about them becomes large. And you ask yourself, what is this? What is it about these people? You know? So th th that is what it's about. And then the next one is about cultivating resilience. You can never be inspired if you do not have resilience. Because your inspiration must lead you to action. And your action must then take you to satisfaction. So for as long as all those things are not aligned, nothing is going to work for you. And while you're going through all these inspiring moments, these inspiring steps, these inspiring actions, then it's important for you to start creating and maintaining boundaries. Because if you do not have boundaries, people will do anyhow with you, whether you are a brand, whether it's your thoughts, whether it's your actions, you know, you must command the space that you are in. You must command the actions that you are taking. You must command the latitude of the inspiration that must trickle into the actions that you need to take. So that is something that then will get you to the next level. And then we're going now to talk about taking renewal breaks. For instance, I was very intentional and purposeful about choosing this time for this session. 
because I thought people are working from home would get overwhelmed. We have to manage so many things and you just need to take a break. But in that break, be intentional about what is going to happen with your time and the actions that are going to characterize that break that you are taking. So right now, it's, I'm sure for a lot of people, you feel like you're at, at a wellness spa because this is a refresher, this is a check-in. I intentionally called it a check-in because it's about you checking yourself, checking your mental faculties, we're going through so much. You know, we, we, there's, there's so much that is happening around us and we have to manage all those things. And with everything that is happening, of course, to be despondent is part of life. But now, for us, this refresher and renewal break is about us being inspired, ensuring that we do not become despondent to the point of stifling and suffocating our dreams and losing sight of who we are. COVID-19 is an external force. Yes, it's got this amazing, massive impact on our lives, but we cannot afford to lose ourselves. We cannot afford to let go of who we are. We cannot afford to lose the dreams that inspire us to be the people that we want to be in the future. So that, that is the po last point that I, I'm going to be talking about on the, um, the habits of wellness. I'll, I'll just go through them again. It's practicing gratitude. It's uh, reflecting because life is a mirror. Don't worry, I will, I will send you this. And uh, again, experience, experiencing awe, have those moments where you are so blown away by the energy that life breathes into you. Remember, we are, we are energy manifested in human form. Everything that we do is about energy. Everything that, that we aspire to become is about energy. That is why it's important for us to constantly visualize, to constantly be present, to constantly be mindful of our thoughts so that we don't lose sight of where we want to go. We want to be eagles. We want to soar. We want to achieve our dreams. We want to be inspired, to be motivated. But in order for us to achieve all of those, we must activate the energy so that the energy is constantly revived, is constantly fueled to fuel us back. Life is a boomerang and we must keep that boomerang going. So, and uh, then cal cultivating resilience. You must be resilient. Interestingly enough, each and every one of you, funny enough, I have a story that I can tell you about being resilient about yourselves. You will be shocked. All these people in this session, I have something that I can tell you about yourself that you would have said and you thought I did not see. I'll give an example for you. Last week you wrote a status and you spoke about your father and you were standing in the sun and you, 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 you spoke something that spoke about your dreams. I remember that. I saw that and I took note of that. Be because again, as I said, life is a mirror. The people that, it's, it's, it's no coincidence that we are in this space at this time. The people that are brought into your space, they are brought for a reason. Uzimasa, I know, she, she's got this huge dream of, you know, starting this agent and helping people to create jobs for them. She's been working in the, was it a, a, a wine farm? Yes, you see, I know so much. Barrington, we were in Dubai. <laughs> we were in Dubai together some years ago. Uzen, Uzen, I know her. She grew up a beauty contestant. And then I am missing 
praise in your names. You used to be Zen, praise God, is, and, and that spoke to me a lot. And it told me something about your character. Ruby, you are a Ruby, and Utembi K, Utembi K is doing a, a business, yeah, okay, and Urubi is in training, which is the space that I'm also into. So can you see, everybody who is here, I know something about you. Uh, you know, they came into the space, they were invited into the space because they want, they are the enablers. Without knowing their profile, but I know all these things, you, you get all these things. So life is a mirror. Those who are meant to come into your space, they will come into your space and you will see them and you will experience them. So that is part of the journey. And the energy, you must always make sure that the energy, it, 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 it guides you. Trust the energy. Trust it. So that wherever you go, you know that everything is aligned to your purpose. Now, um, our time, how many minutes are we left with? Vuyo, what time is it? Ten past two. Ten past two. Yes. Oh, okay. We're 10 minutes over. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I could sense that, yeah, no time. Yeah. So what, what is going to happen is that for the next session, because inspiration is such a broad one, you know, I had so much. Ideally, I would have wanted an hour, but I don't want to take an hour because we are at work. We do so many things. So the second half of the session would have spoken about ambition, beliefs, and everything. So what we're going to do next Wednesday, I am going to continue on that. And also I am going to invite people to kind of give us some reflections on the next sessions because now we've run out of time. So on the next sessions, I would love for you to share your reflections on this session. We're gonna cut off now, we've got one minute left. Yes. That's yes. what it says. Thank you, my darling. So on the next session, instead of the introductions, then we are going to do the reflections and then we'll take it from there. So thank you very much. It's been an awesome day. Thank you for being here. And I'm looking forward to it. Please feel free to communicate with me. I love you. Stay blessed. <laughs>